Hello, welcome to Bricks for Life. Um, so this is my other um, road, but the new building. Um, so here's the thing I did that's improved with my road. If you look, you see basically no gaps, except for that, but whatever. And it looks like there's no gaps, but if you go to my previous city, you will see it looks like it has gaps because it does so if you look you see that there is gaps oops that's just my smoothie drink <laughs> back to this if i um take this off which is pretty difficult so um the next one, you will see it off all right so in this because i put flats right here flats and then studs so this connects to the studs and this is just it just stays there hard to explain but um it's it's pretty basic if you understand well then you're smart and if you don't well i don't know but anyways so that's an improvement and um I'm still sticking to the same alley. It's six dead wide. I'm not done, obviously. It looks like garbage right now. Uh, but, um, in this building, that's what it looks like. I'll show a back clip. And now, there you go. So, if you look up, it is like a slopes because, um, that's how I do it. Um, that, that's weird. Um, I just make it slopes because, um, well, it seems more proper to me. Um, like if you have the little dummy guy, you will see that it goes down fairly, fairly good. Um, yeah. It's smooth. And I put those tire tracks from the marble compound i just thought it gives it some uh, i don't know interesting depth and i need to tile some more over here but then over here it will come back and i'm using a motorbike just for an example it's not meant for a motorbike but it can be used for a motorbike I put these handrails here because it's going to go all the way along this side and just to there. Um, but I put the handrails just, um, I don't know, just to make it look nicer. And um, yeah, for this um, roof, I put like a whole lip around it. I thought it would look cool. And to me, it does. There's no lip on this side because this side would be up against a building. Um, so yeah. And um, this building, I haven't decided what it's for, but um, I'm sure at some point I will. And this other one, my other little city block, which we will see right now. There you go. You see there's Technic pin. No Technic pin, which is my mistake, but uh, one Technic pin, and no Technic pin, which is also my mistake, but um, whatever, they're supposed to connect with the Technic pin, like you'll see right here, like there, and there, and here, just an extra bonus, I made a new tree. If you look at this tree, you will see, well, I'll give you a close-up. Uh, this will be the background for now. Why not? Um, this is the planter. Um, yeah, it's generic. And like I was just about to say, you can see that it is a new design. Um, and I'll just put that there for now. Um, it's, it is simple, but it looks good.
so I will show you what it looks like in the inside and how I did that. And um, this is inspired off of Bevan's Bricks. So if you want to see this, go check out his channel. I recommend it. It is um, very good quality. Um, yeah, I, I enjoy his content. So I'll show you what it looks like in the inside. Alright, so this is what it looks like on the outside, and this is on the inside, and then in the inside of the tree, well, it is hollow, and it is using a one-by-one one snot brick, studs on all of the sides, and for this branch, I just use a, um, well, I don't know, I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna go into too much detail, it just... I don't know. Anyways, I'll put that back on. Just like that. That's what it looks like in the planter. Top view. Yeah, I gave it these edges to look like bark. Um, Alright, I'm going to put that back on the city. So yeah, that's um, pretty much all in this video. Um, nothing really exciting. Well, I guess if you enjoyed this video, then I guess that is somewhat exciting. Um, if you didn't, well, that's okay. Alright, so I'm going to go. Um, bye!